Hi guys, today we're going to replace uh, brake pads, rear brake pads in uh, 2002 Acura RSX. As a replacement, we'll be using uh, ceramic brake pads from Wagner. Uh, you can get them pretty cheap uh, nowadays for around 30 bucks, and they do provide great quality uh, Wagner Thermoquiet ceramic uh, brake pads. Uh, if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link in the description. Since uh, we are working on rear wheels, we have to block one of the front wheels. You have to use wheel blocks and put them on both sides of one of the front wheels. Now that our front wheel is blocked, we can release the parking brake and we have to put the vehicle into reverse gear. We need to use 19 mm socket to loosen uh, lug nuts partially this is enough this will allow you to remove them after we lift the wheel since we'll be using jack stands to support the vehicle we'll be using these points on the arms to lift uh, the wheels one by one so first we'll lift this side and we're using three ton jack to do that The rear checking point is located right here and this is where we have to put our jack stand make sure that it's in the middle and make sure that when you put the jack stand on the ground it's even a level surface this way it's not going to go anywhere and now I'm going to lower slowly this side onto the jack stand. Now we need to repeat the process on the right side. Same idea. Put the jack underneath this point and start lifting the right side. Also, don't forget to. Loosen the lug nuts with uh, right wheel as well. And the jack stand goes right here on the other side. And carefully and slowly start. And it's so slow, but you get the idea. Again, we are using 19 millimeter socket. Remove all lug nuts and now we can remove the wheel it's a good idea to put the wheel underneath the vehicle in case if something happens it will fall on top of the wheel and not all the way to the ground in case if the wheel is stuck and you cannot easily remove it by hand this can happen if you drive uh, in winter a lot the way to do it is to hit it with your legs and then it will come off this is a caliper right here um, our next task will be to remove two caliper uh, slider bolts one right here and one over here we need to use a 14 millimeter socket to do this and uh, remove them counterclockwise the efforts effort is actually not huge This is how the bolt looks like. Also, don't forget to remove this uh, parking brake cable located right here. 
it if it's not loose enough to remove it by hand you may need to use pliers to release the spring this way and then you should be able to remove it by hand and now we will remove the caliper you can use the screwdriver to pry it and there it is and uh, these are our old brake pads that's how they look and right now we'll show you the difference between the old ones and the new ones well first of all as you can see there is a lot more friction material on the new pads compared to the old ones besides that on the old ones uh, there's already a crack here which means that it's slowly disintegrating and it's definitely time to replace it now uh, another interesting thing is uh, as you can see the indicator on the old pad is slightly different from this one so it's missing this part which means that uh, this is actually the way indicator this starts making noise uh, when your friction material is gone and basically this means that the uh, brake pad needs to be replaced so in this case of the old one it has already fallen off so it broke off which again shows us that this uh, brake pad or all of them need to be replaced and we'll quickly show you guys another difference between the old brake pads and the new ones as you can see the old one has a metallic plate on the back which is removable in the case of our new ones as you can see it has a different design it comes as one piece and the insulator is already integrated into the brake pad and I'll quickly show you guys what it does it does provide quieter uh, brake pad integrates friction material backing plate and insulator into a single high strength component uh, application specific design spreads out heat sound and vibration over a much larger uh, surface area for quieter operation so basically this type of design allows your brakes to be quieter the next step will be to push this piston inside where you can see this cross for this we'll be using a special uh, tool I'll show you guys the name it's a 11 piece disc brake caliper set and we'll be using one of them in case of our Acura We'll be using this number four tip for the spreader tool and right now we'll show you how it's done
I'll show you guys one more time how uh, this was done. So first, after you have inserted the spreader, first this uh, rod gets turned and then you tighten this piece right here and basically you repeat it after a couple of turns and tighten this one and this allows you to push the piston in. You also need to check the condition of uh, these rubber boots. You have to uh, make sure that they move freely and uh, the condition of the rubber itself. There shouldn't be any cracks or tears. In case if they are stuck, you need to remove this uh, pin and uh, add new silicone in there. I'll show you how it's done. Like this. And here you can see the old silicone. We will put the new one. Clean all uh, old silicone from the pin and we will use a new one we'll be using synthetic grease uh, for calipers and uh, we need to apply a small amount in this case it's black uh, it also can be uh, white i believe as well just apply a small amount and uh, spread it out evenly and now we will put it back in. And there it is. Again, in case if you have tears on the rubber boot, uh, it also uh, needs to be replaced. Our brake pad set comes uh, with the new hardware, which we will replace. So we have to remove this one here, one more on the bottom and one in the middle of the caliper itself. Just pull it out. Make sure to choose the right spring plate because uh, the set is actually not only for Acura, it's also for other Honda models. And it has two types here. This is the one that we need, and uh, we have two of these as well. And this one is for a different model. And uh, two smaller ones. The purpose of these brackets and springs is to uh, hold the brake pad in place and uh, let it slide. So now we will insert our brake pads. Uh, the one that with the indicator goes inside the wheel right here and uh, the second one goes outside. And the reason why we had to uh, push in our piston is to be able now, because these brake pads are thicker, uh, now it will allow us to install the caliper back on. The next step is to put in the caliper slider bolts, put them back in and uh, first hand tighten them first and then we'll use the torque wrench to properly tighten them. You may need to readjust the caliper in order to make sure that they go in properly.
After you hand tighten them, you can use 14mm wrench to tighten it. Now we are going to use a torque wrench to tighten our uh, bolts. The torque for caliper slider bolts is 16 foot pounds or 22 newton meters. So 16 foot pounds is what our torque wrench is set to right now. Turn it counter sorry clockwise until you hear the click. same on the top and the last thing to check is uh, you need to make sure that the caliper moves free like this this means that everything was done the right way and don't forget about the parking brake same idea we have to uh, push the spring and uh, install uh, the parking brake back on push the spring this will allow us to reinstall the parking brake cable back on and now we're also done with our left side and the process was exactly the same as you can see the caliper goes back and forth we have our new brake pads and hardware in now it's time to put our wheels back on it's best to do it sitting down this way you can protect your back and use your hands only align it properly and then use the lug nuts together with the socket to secure the wheel now while our wheel is still in the air I'm going to use the wrench to tighten them even more the torque for these lug nuts is 80 foot pounds but the final tightening will be done when the wheels are on the ground now we need to lift the vehicle again right side first it should be enough to take our jet stand out and now we can lower this side all the way eighty foot pounds the final check tighten it until it clicks And it's done after you have installed the wheels uh, there is one more important step before you can remove the wheel blocks you need to press or pump the brake pedal a few times it's gonna be soft the first couple of times until you start feeling that uh, the brake pedal is firm again uh, this will ensure the proper uh, braking in your vehicle and you guys won't get into a crash once you start driving and uh, start pressing the brake pe pedal when it's not working so you always have to do this step just press it a few times after you have replaced your brake pads and the final step remove both uh, wheel blocks thank you guys for watching i hope this will help you change your brake pads we'll see you in the next video